This is part two of our Making Vodka with Brewers Juice series. Uh, this is where we actually look at transferring the wash into the distilling unit and making it into alcohol. Stage one, what you have to do is really look at the clarity of the, of the wash that you've actually had. If it is not as clear as what you can see here, it's not going to give you a good product when you put it through the distillation process. Well, we know it is going to be reasonably clear, so you can see the sediment on the bottom of the barrel there. So the next stage is what we're doing here is we're siphoning out all the clear stuff and we're going to leave all the sediment behind in the bottom of the other barrel. You can see that it's quite clear, but we don't want that sediment. That's it. You can see the chunky sediment down there. We really don't want it. That's yeast and all the extra chemicals and stuff that was used in the distillation process. It's getting right down to the end and take the hose out and boom, there's our finished product. Right, now what we want to do is to make sure there's 100% clear, like I'm showing you right here. If you're doing a wash and it does not look like that, put it back in the barrel and wait for it to settle some more until you get it as clear as that. It's going to mean an awful lot with the flavour. Right now I'm putting in some saddles, some ceramic saddles into the bottom of the, uh, the urn. Now that's going to bounce around as it boils and help to keep the bottom of the urn clean. Okay, so now we're filling it up to the uh, 25 litre mark. And because I'm putting in clear wash with no extra yeast and stuff in there, it's not going to foam up. So I don't use a foaming agent. My idea here is keep as many chemicals out of this as possible to give you a better quality product. Okay, lid's on. Start connecting it up. And uh, we'll be getting close to uh, getting ready to connect all the hoses up and get ready to turn the thing on. It's very simple, water in, water out, and your distillate comes out as well. Step one, okay, we're going to put the uh, this onto the, the tap. We're not going to connect it up. We're not going to start the water going yet, but we're going to put it in place. We're going to drop that in the, in the, the sink. That's the outlet, and turn the thing on. It's starting off at a set temperature of 21.9 degrees. Now, it has to reach a much hotter temperature range. Now, we know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, and we know that ethanol is liberated at 78 degrees. But when you actually have a vertical column like this, there's a different, uh, different process in place for the thermometer, and we're going to go with a 50 to 50 to 60 uh, degrees range to get the right production of ethanol. But we want to firstly get the bad stuff out. Now, the bad stuff being acetone, methanol, and ethyl acetate. Now, all of those boil at less than 77 degrees C. And keeping in mind, we know that ethanol boils at 78 degrees C. Now, what we're doing here is we're simply getting the, 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 the water tap ready. We've got the water ready to go. We can simply control a little uh, tap on the end of the nozzle when the temperature reaches 50 degrees here, as you can see. Boom, 50 degrees, we're going to now turn the water on and start allowing the water to cool down the flow. Even though the top of the column should be round about the 80 degree mark, in the middle of the column, we're going to be boiling it around about the 50 to 55 degree to give you exactly what we're after. It might sound a bit confusing, but just think of it this way. It's going to give you exactly what you want. So think of it this way, 50 to 55 degrees, and it's going to give you the best solution. Now, you can see the water's coming out, but at the moment we don't have any distillate coming out because it hasn't reached the separation point. Now, the first few things that come out, remember, those are the bad things. Now, we want to separate those out, but we're still in the process of climbing up. You can see the temperature is climbing reasonably fast here. So very soon, I have to be able to turn the water on at that little nozzle at the end of the tap and uh, allow it to cool down. So, okay, here we go. 56 degrees, 57. So now we need to make sure the water's on and there's no distillate coming out yet. 62 degrees and it's jumping up even more. So we need to adjust the water measure, the water flow. So we make sure it comes down a bit. And we keep on doing this. For the first 15 minutes, you might be going backwards and forwards in small increments, but what you're aiming for is a range of between 50 and 55 degrees. It'll go up to 55 and drop down to 50. Here we go. We've got some uh, the first stages of the distillate coming out at 51 degrees. Now, this is the acetone, methanol, and ethyl acetate. Those are the three things that you don't want. Those are the head. Those are all, all the parts that are poisonous. So you don't want it in your mix. So you take that out. I've separated 75 mils out of here. And that should be more than sufficient. Right now, I'm going to change the hose into my Hearts bottle. 
uh, everything from this point onwards uh, I'm going to be saving um, uh, because this is the better stuff this is the good stuff that we're actually after now what we need to do is differentiate between the good stuff now and the bad stuff or the tiles and this is why I've got those extra glasses now I'll explain about that as we go okay we've got 50 degrees I know I'm getting somewhere around about the two liters or maybe a little bit less and I'm sm I'm smelling the top vent of that bottle and I realize there's a slight change so now I change it over and I start putting the the distillate into individual glasses you can see it's starting to happen here now remember as soon as I, I've been smelling all along the line the, the the top of that bottle and it was reasonably sweet and clear then it started to have a little bit of a, 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 a funny f a smell to it so that's when I changed over to the glasses so now as you can see what I'm doing I'm making a graduated chain of these glasses so I can see how it changes now it's going to go from good down to a not too good now we can be able to, we'll be able to tell the difference of this simply by smelling and tasting it with by wetting our finger at it but before we do that I'm going to get a selection of these and put them in the process from good down to bad or from the beginning down to the end as you can see what I'm doing here this might seem a little bit unusual but this is just my way of doing it um, rather than leave it going into that uh, that big uh, five litre bottle uh, you stand contaminating that if you actually put some bad stuff in and you'll have to dis get rid of it and distill it again right now as you can see I've got separate glasses uh, there's no need to get any specific, specific quality or quantity in there because my main purpose is to be able to get these and be able to sniff them to smell the difference between the uh, the different glasses now when there's zero ethanol or zero alcohol left in that boiler you can see it's still dripping out uh, of the, the, the urn now but when there is zero alcohol in that boiler there will simply be no nothing dripping out because we've not got it up to water boiling temperature this is only alcohol boiling temperature so you can see it's just going drip 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 is slowing down big time now and it's even more slow I've decided on smelling how bad that quality was I've decided okay I'm going to make the cut now I'm going to turn off the urn and then smell between all those individual glasses and taste between those glasses and some are going to be not as good as others so that's going to allow me to make the cut now this is where I've decided to make it you can see I'm just pouring uh, it into the, the main collection bottle there and uh, even though it might seem like a small amount this is 94% alcohol by volume and uh, so you can at least double or double and a half the volume here to give you your finished product and we'll go through a separate video on that later on but as we see here these are the last two that I'm not going to use I'm going to simply throw them away you can use it as house cleaner but that is the finished product in part three we'll discuss how to do the breakdown and dilute it down to the strength that you want.